is inevitable. Five lives left. The wombat just I might use darkest before. Everything oh, no. dies. The enemy is out of lines. I had to plank and left. Nope. Two guys, two guys. Happy New Year Guardians, it's JB coming at you with another Destiny 2 video. So I've been browsing uh, Facebook groups and forums and just talking to people through chat. Uh, and seems to be a lot of questions from newer players about what mods to use, what setups to use. Uh, so I figured I would make a video just explaining what I use. And I'm going to give you uh, just a little bit of a heads up. Always use what works right for you. Uh, just because you get killed with a certain weapon or uh, you know you see someone else dominating with this weapon doesn't mean that weapon's right for you so use what you like to use use what's fun use what feels right for you and uh, yeah just keep it that simple but um, I will share with you a few different setups that I use and just really small changes I make to armor and mods to um, to help maximize the effectiveness of each loadout uh, I typically run what you're seeing right now is lately was my aggressive hand cannon build um, but I will go into some pulse rifle uh, setups, some scout rifle setups, different, different ranges, aggressive setups. Um, so I really hope you find that enjoyable. And as always, if you can hit that like and subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me bring you more content. And let me know down in the comment section, um, you know, if you have any further questions about it. Uh, I'm very caffeinated, so I definitely will be rambling on. So if you need, you know, any type of simplification, let me know. Um, yeah, and, and just let me know what you want to see. If, if there's a certain setup that you like or you have a question about something, uh, definitely ask, and we'll try to get it uh, get it answered for you. Um, hope everybody's having a great new year. Uh, I've got some, some new videos coming. I've got some other games that I'm working on, too. So if you just let me know, guys, um, you know how you, what you think about this in the comment section, I greatly appreciate it. All right. Well, I will start with my Hunter first because there is an extra mod exchange or equipment exchange that I do. Warlock is my primary. It was my main character that I use, uh, but um, uh, Hunter's where we're going to start today. Okay, so let's go to my normal build. So my typical runaround everyday build with my Hunter and my Warlock is typically either the Die Promise or the Judgment. Let's just say, we'll throw that there. Uh, maybe um, so dire promise here and prosecutor here this is my typical build uh tone patrol um i'd say this right here this is what i normally run if i'm feeling good and i feel like i'm um, caffeinated and my aim is on point i usually run something like this right here now there is an extra step with my hunter so what i run over here is uh this is my equipment that i typically run but there's a few things i change out i have recovery and resilience mods in my armor except for my chest piece and my mod my class mod okay so what i do is i exchange my this depending on what i'm doing so i'm running hand cannons so recoil mods don't really give me the impact or the effectiveness I need for a hand cannon build. So I swap this over for reload speed. So I put a kinetic reload mod in my kinetic munition loader in my uh, chest armor so that I can reload my hand cannon faster. Okay. And down here, I typically run a recoil mod for my energy weapon. So this is a recoil. Okay, this is later. So let's just go here. Where are we at? Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is the typical uh, um, mod that I use in my armor when I'm running this build. It is a recoil for the energy weapon. That's uh, what I typically run here. So if I'm running a hand cannon and scout rifle, uh, this is what I run. Now, sometimes I change out the tow patrol. Uh, I usually use uh, the tow patrol if I'm feeling... Uh, like it's just not working for me, I may swap over to maybe Last Perdition or Prosecutor. Now, I'm going to tell you this. You're going to see Prosecutor in my energy slot a lot. And the reason why is because it is a very versatile weapon. All right, Because no matter what I'm doing, this gun will have you covered in close and long range. Okay, So the hip fire grip. 
this is the trait that makes this gun so versatile because not only is it very accurate if you master work it the statistics are very similar to the positive outlook uh, but it's got good range impacts good everything's decent everything's decent on this gun and the hip fire grip just helps because if you're getting pushed and they're up close to you and you don't you know you can't ads you can hip fire this and um, sometimes come out okay so i really like it for that reason you can run slideways i run tap the trigger and the reason why is because Look at the description. Sliding partially reloads this weapon's magazine and temporarily boosts handling and stability. Okay, handling and stability. With tap the trigger, it grants a short period of increased stability and accuracy on initial trigger pull. So I would rather have stability and accuracy versus handling and stability. Okay, that's just me personally. Reloading the magazine partially is great, but on an auto rifle, the reload, the amount in the magazine isn't all that great. So, this would be my typical, typical go-to right here, hand cannon, scout or pulse, and then a sniper. In my power slot, I run the same thing all the time. Um, I just masterworked this yesterday, uh, so I'll run the Maxim 11 in this slot. I used to use the LR2, but um, I started using this one because of the fact that I can masterwork it. And the perk that you want to look for in a sniper rifle, honestly, is either a, well, definitely a short zoom scope, but snapshot sights. Snapshot sights will make or break a sniper rifle for me because you want to be able to zoom in really fast and get those shots right here. And you'll probably see some gameplay. I'll throw a few, maybe a few clips or something at the end of the video um, to show you that, or maybe even put it on before I do this on the video. Okay, so this really helps. So in a sniper rifle, that's what you want. Uh, so you can also run the colony. If I'm have, if I want to have a good time, I'll run the colony. If I'm if I'm playing crucible with a fire team of friends, we'll probably just go colony and have fun just trolling people with it. It's a great weapon. Uh, you can never go wrong with sins of the past. Sins of the past is a is a great go to for everything. So if I don't know what I want to do or if I'm doing trials and it's aggressive, uh, definitely sins of the past is is a way to go. So that's an option there. I don't use swords. I just leave this in my inventory, but I don't really use it. Um, I used to use a long walk for a small time. It's it's a great uh, sniper rifle. I just prefer the uh, Maxim's uh, snappy scope versus this one. So this is my typical build right here. My aggressive hand cannon build involves judgment and prosecutor. Okay, so this is my aggressive build right here. All right, my aggressive build. So be, the reason why I say that is because and you'll see in gameplay videos is because of slide shot. Right here. This is amazing on a hand cannon. This is one of the most amazing perks I've ever seen on a hand cannon. This gun is so underrated. Sliding partially reloads this weapon's magazine and temporarily boosts range and stability. Let me tell you, there has been countless times with this weapon that I have taken down an enemy, slid around a corner, put two roll rounds in my magazine, added stability and range, and just took out another enemy. Slide through another corner. Add two more rounds to my magazine, take out another enemy, and then by that time, I'll usually have to reload. But just the ability to do this and to stay in the fight and it, but at the same time become mobile and still effective is just amazing. So this is this is my – as far as aggressiveness goes, this is a great hand cannon to use. Most people use the Better Devils. I'm, I just – I get tired of the Better Devils. I wanted something different. I get bored of it. So I really like this, and I think the slide shot is just, just great. Absolutely great. Uh, of course, Prosecutor for reasons why I listed. So this would be my aggressive hand cannon build right here. Just like that, okay? So it's typical build I run would be Dire Promise and Tone Patrol. Okay, this is my survivability stay alive build. I have plenty of videos of me going through... Um, uh, quick play, just not dying. I'll go a whole round without dying, just playing evasive and uh, choosing my battles carefully with this build right here. Okay, so that's there. My aggressive build. The only thing I change is I use judgment and prosecutor. Okay, nothing changes over here. Okay, and here. So now let's talk about pulse rifle builds. All right. So if I want to use a pulse rifle here, nothing changes in my energy slot. I still have an energy recoil mod, so that's great. Okay, but let's say. Oh, let's go here. Let's say I want to use a pulse rifle in my kinetic slot. So let's go to, let's see, let's do autumn wind. Let's say I want to use autumn wind or let's say I want a little more range. Let's say I go for vigilance wing. So when I'm running this type of build, uh, a pulse rifle a range build, I'll use nightshade, vigilance wing, anything like this. One thing you want to use with pulse rifles is a kinetic recoil mod. Well, lucky for us, hunters 
can put two recoil mods for the kinetic slot. So you see in my chest piece says uh, reload speed, so we're going to swap that and reduce his recoil for the equipped kinetic weapon on the chest piece. But also here, let's see if I can find one. Come on. There we go. Ha. Okay, so now I have a recoil mod for the vision sewing here, and I have a recoil mod here. So this makes your pulse rifles much, much, much more manageable. Uh, they feel much more accurate. And I typically only run pulse rifles on my Hunter because of the fact that you can stack the two recoil mods right here. Okay, so this makes it incredible. You can tell the difference right away. All right, so when I'm running a pulse rifle build, I want to run a kinetic recoil mod, uh, kinetic counterbalance, and the chest piece and in the class mod and that's why i keep all these different ones because i like to throw different things on them so that's my build right there for this i use the minuet or the annual skate in my energy slot right here this is a great gun by the way if i don't feel like using this i'll jump to an smg stochastic variable if it's a really big map like a highly ranged map and i don't want to scout rifle it i'll throw on the positive outlook which is another great gun so that's that's typically a pulse rifle build right there. If you want to play it safe, you can do there. You can never go wrong with the prosecutor. All right, so this is what it is, okay? Right there, that's a pulse rifle build. All right, so let's go back to here. Let's just put that all there. Okay, now let's talk about uh, a little more aggressive build, like an automatic weapon build. So if it's a super aggressive map, like the new Titan map, I may change this up, or maybe I'm just not in the mood to use a hand cannon. So what I'll use is the new city submachine gun, and in this slot, I'll probably run the prosecutor still, or the annual escape. So the new city is amazing. Um, it's I have it masterwork for range, and it is I'd say the Antiope D is about right there, and look at the difference. Like it, it almost catches up to the Antiope in range, and to me, it just feels better. I like the sights. I like the way it recoil pattern is. I just like the way it feels, and it shreds. It's got a optimal time to kill of one second. It's amazing. It's a great gun. So I really like this weapon, and the range on it is it's just unheard of for that rounds per minute right there. So I rock the new city in this slot right here. And then this slot right here, I want something that it allows me to be aggressive, but with a little more range. So either I'll throw in the prosecutor if, it, if I need it. Um, if it's a much longer map, I may actually throw on the positive outlook just because of the kill clip and accuracy. Uh, if I fail a hand cannon, I use annual escape. So that's typically my aggressive, aggressive um, non-hand cannon build right here. And I can never go wrong with this. If, if I'm not feeling like my aim is very sharp, this is what I'll use. If I'm just getting angry with myself and I'm not landing my headshots with my hand cannons, I'll just swap to new city and then I'll be fine. So this is a great one right here um, to use. All right? Now, being that I have this equipped, I don't need a reload mod. So if I was using a pistol, or a, I'm sorry, a hand cannon, I would swap to this, right? So just make sure when you're using a automatic weapon or a pulse rifle up here, you make sure you have your recoil mod here, okay? And vice versa, if I switch to a hand cannon, I would use the reload one. Okay, so that's typically the rule of thumb that I like to use is uh, hand cannons, use a reload mod up here. Okay, if you're using any other weapon in this slot, okay, um, then you would switch this to, uh, you know, to this right here, to the recoil. Hand cannons use a reload mod. Now, if I'm running like purpose, if I'm running a scout rifle up here, I can leave it at recoil, but I like to actually put it on uh, reload speed because I think this is pretty manageable on PC. Um, if you run a console, you can do differently if you need to, but I feel like the Purpose or any other kinetic scout rifle um, does pretty well. So I don't think you need it, <clears throat> need any type of recoil management. Now let's talk about my distance setup. What I like to use at range. Purpose is a great weapon to use at range and i use this a lot uh, so this would be my go-to if i need a range build right here this is a really good range build uh, that i can use if i feel like i'm going to stick with purpose a lot i would just swap this out for maybe the annual skate 
um, just to have uh, something a little more versatile as far as like really fast time to kill up close, but annual skate works better. I don't run an SMG here because I am running this as a distance mod, meaning I don't really want close range engagements. So I want to stay away from there. At least with the annual skate, I can kind of peep out a corner, fire a shot, and then go back. Um, now, if you're playing on Vostok or any long, long range map, Purpose works great, but I'm starting to really like the Garden Progeny one. Uh, there's some gameplay I have, if you look on my channel, of me using this. Uh, it is a headshot machine. Slow firing, yes, but incredibly accurate. The, the scope on this is just amazing. Um, and it has Outlaw. Precision kills greatly decrease reload time. So I really like this gun. I do. I love this gun. Um, so that's this is my distance, distance build here. Uh, sometimes I will swap this out for purpose because I think this is a great gun as well. So these are just options you have. And like I said, if you're running a scout rifle, you can choose your mod that you want to run here. Um, I like reload speed for up here when I'm running scouts. But if you feel like your aim is not on par, you can change that out for the recoil mod. Okay. So this is what I run. I know it's a lot. I, I change weapons a lot. That's why you always see a lot of stuff in my slots here. Okay. But um, it just depends on how I feel, and I like variety. I get bored too easily, so I like having the variety. And it also depends on who I'm playing, uh, which matters too. If I go into a server and they're just super, super aggressive, I, you know, obviously I'm going to change this up. Obviously I'm going to need to, you know, change this up. Maybe I'll do this if it's super aggressive, and um, you know, or uh, like that, you know. And with a new city. Uh, I will say one thing. There's one exception here. With the new city, you could run the recoil one, but on the new city, I actually like the reload speed mod. Okay, let me tell you why. Because the new city, at the range you're going to be fighting with, you don't need the extra accuracy, but there's only 33 rounds in the magazine. So if you're running a 900 rounds per minute uh, submachine gun, you should definitely try to put the reload on there because this helps you. Because typically I will, you know, run my magazine out with this and then swap weapons and finish the person off if I need to. That's why I like having a hand cannon there. Uh, but if if I can't or if the situation comes up where I'm actually reloading, I love to have the extra speed. And that's when the Warlock comes into play because with the Warlock, if you have a fitting aspect – you can reload much faster, so that helps as well. So this is typically what I do with the Hunter here. Now, I don't think I have any weapons uh, equipped with my Warlock right now. I moved everything over. I'm one of those people where if I play with a character, I move all my gear over to that character. Yeah, I just do anything into this um, build. Okay, so with my Hunter... What I'm running over here, um, and with every character I use, I try to max out recovery. Okay, so this is my PvE armor right here. Okay, that's what I use in PvE, PvP. I just change the helmet. That's it. Okay, so uh, right here, I'm not talking about weapons with this one. We went over that. But with PvP, uh, with my Warlock, um, I want to max out recovery on every class. It doesn't matter. But Warlock, I want to make sure I have 10 recovery. And I want to make sure I have over, I want to have four or more resilience. Okay, definitely want to have four more resilience. So I'm lucky here. I have a 1610 going on right now. I think I had like a 1710 or 1810 at one point, but this is what I have right now. And I'll tell you what, if you don't have the affidian aspect yet, you need to get this because um, this is the this is by far my favorite exotic in the game. Uh, it's weapons ready and reload very quickly. Melee range is extended. These are incredible, incredible, and they will spoil you because they're so good. Not only do you get increased reload speed and handling, but you also get the extra melee range, and this is just great. I, I absolutely love this, um, this setup here. And like I said, this is my main. This is what I use. Uh, it's hard for me to play any other class because Warlocks just feel right for me. Um, sometimes I play Hunter if I want a little bit of faster gameplay, but I I seem to get the best um, results by using my Warlock. Um, yeah, I don't play Titan much. I only use Titan when I need to do my milestones. So I probably don't. I haven't logged into my Titan. I need to check that anyway. Let's see. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so I don't use my Titan much. I threw anything in this slot here, actually. Um, but uh, over here, this is typically what I run in PvE. Uh, I run a Sentinel build usually because I'm running a melee build, and I want that health uh, the health regen on the melee kills. So with my Titan, again, I want to max out recovery as much as I can. So 2, 5, and 9 is what I'm running here. 
Okay, and my favorite exotic on the Titan is the Syntheseps. Uh, increases melee lunge range, improved melee damage when surrounded. Now, when you're surrounded in this game in PvP, you're going to die. <laughs> you're just going to die unless you're really, really slick. Um, so I don't really care about the increased damage. Maybe it does help to get like that last kill before they take you out, but it's the range that really helps right here. So I really like those. Um, I don't use much else. I like to just keep it simple. I find that it's better if you find what works for you and stick with it until you get really good at it. If you're changing up your uh, play style um, or your, I mean, it's, you can change weapons and how you play according to the map, that's fine. But if you're like, let's say I'm running a melee build with my Titan and I want to change it up and do something different, like, you know, um, I don't know. I just feel like it's more effective to stick to one thing and get really good at it. Uh, you know, um, that really helps. So let's go back to my hunter. You have to bear with me. I had a lot of coffee. Okay. So let's let's talk about this and recap real quick. So with my hunter, I don't care about mobility with any class. Um, it just doesn't matter to me. So whatever's here is fine. I don't care. But resilience is four. It has to at least be four. And my recovery on my hunter is seven right now. So that's okay for me right now. I'm fine with this setup here. I wish I had a little bit more recovery with this helmet. Yeah, that just takes away a little mobility. Yeah, I don't really think I have any... Higher, yeah, any higher recovery than that, but yeah, so this is what I'm using here. And I did notice uh, there's a previous gameplay video I uploaded where I had an all mobility uh, hunter build, which was fun at the time, but uh, you get picked off pretty fast with uh, low resilience. So four resilience and as much recovery as you can have is, is what you want to do in that build, okay? Um, any questions at all, just leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, as always, please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I know that's a lot of information thrown your way. If you want a clearer description of things or if you just you know, um, would like to have something that you could refer to, just shoot me a message and I will definitely reply back with something that you can keep. Um, yeah, so appreciate you watching, guys, and uh, hope you have a good day. Thanks. Bye.